All right, hey guys, Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. So another question that I got recently, um, and the question was, how do I make forty thousand a year selling grass-fed beef? And fair question. Um, you know, my my response, like the first thing I would ask is, why do you want to make forty? And is that where you want to end up, or is that just because you think it's reasonable, or you know someone else who makes forty thousand a year? Uh, does that replace your income, or is that double your income, or is that a quarter of your income currently, your current income? Um, you know why forty? Like, let's get real clear on 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 what that why you have that as a goal, right? And because everyone's going to set different goals for different reasons, and so I will answer the forty k goal, the forty k question. Um, okay, so here's my answer, I guess. Here, here you go. This is what I would do. I would go immediately and first of all, I wouldn't, if I didn't have beef, uh, you don't need to have beef. And so I would go and talk to other producers. I would go talk to, I'd make a list of 10 and go talk to all 10 of them and ask and find ones who are willing to supply some beef. And 40K, if you're pricing it at about like eh, 15 to $20 a pound, which is super low, um, then you probably need around, Want to sell 20 beef? Is that right? No, about 15 beef. I think you need to sell 15 beef, and that's, and that would pay for all your processing and the cost of beef, buying it like at the average, at an average auction price. Um, so about 15. You need to sell about 15 beef, and the way that you do it is you just go partner with another company, another complementary business like a, a a chicken producer or a pork producer who already has a big customer list, or better yet. You'll partner with like a, a vegetable, like a CSA, but just like a vegetable or produce CSA, and who does not have any beef, which there are tons, because if one thing that I've seen that's true across the country, like pro, um, produce growers do not like hang out with beef producers for whatever reason. You might, and I mean, that, and that's awesome, but for the most part, they don't, and I think it's what it, tends to happen is that a lot of uh, the, the produce growers just don't even know any cattle farmers and and so those relationships just don't go get don't get created that was one of the most when we first got started it was one of the most common requests that I would get through email is vegetable CSAs asking if I'd be interested in, in like in working with them to supply um, their customers with our beef so and a lot of these CSAs have hundreds or even thousands of customers. And so you go partner with one of them and maybe you pay them a, a buck a pound on any beef that they sell and you are gonna offload that beef real fast. I mean, definitely within a year. Um, and I wouldn't stop at one CSA. I would go partner with five or 10 or as many as it takes to hit that 40K. And how to do it without starting with any money is you work out a deal with the producers, right? With the beef producers who are raising the cattle. To, to basically to, to carry the cost. So you, you will pay them after you've been paid, right? And you can work out a similar deal with the processor that you will pay him after you've been paid. Um, and you can work out a deal with, I mean, you can work out all of this. Like the time frame does not need to be like, okay, so I go find a producer, a beef producer, and I pay them and they deliver to the processor and then I pay the processor and then I pay them to store it or I pay a storage facility and then I go and sell the beef. I mean, that's so backwards, and yet that's how I see most uh, first-time producers or, or new farmers start. And that's crazy because that's absolutely backwards. It's not your fault if that's how you've done it. You just haven't been shown a different way. And most people, I think that is the, the natural kind of line of progression that they think along. But it's false. It's the, it's the worst way to go because it's the cash flow is backwards. You need to get all that money in up front, and then you pay everybody, right? And you can mix and match so that, the, I mean, plenty of farmers. I've never actually paid a beef producer up front. Never, not once, never. And I don't think, I think maybe one, no, twice we paid really early on in 2014, we paid producers um, like within a few weeks of them delivering to the processor, but we had already started selling the beef by that point. So, and you can also set it with the CSAs so that you wanna do pre-sales, right? You agree to work with them as long as they do pre-sales of the beef like a month in advance or two months in advance. That way you can get the cash in your pocket and go find the producer and pay for it, get it processed, and then deliver it on time to the CSA members. So that's that's one way. That's you know the way that I'm suggesting in this video. And it's super easy. It's, it's very straightforward, very simple, if not easy. It is easy, actually. You just got to go do the work. And don't complicate it because it is as simple as I've just laid it out. 
Um, you don't have to have beef if you don't, go find a producer who does. Um, and then if you don't have to go have a market, you don't have to have a website, you don't need a social media account, you don't need to advertise anywhere, you just need to go find like a CSA, a vegetable CSA, who does not sell beef, partner with them, have them sell it for you to their established list, and it will sell like hotcakes, and you'll be great. And if not a CSA, go partner with another company, like a chicken producer who has a big e uh, email list or customer list, or go partner with a pork producer, or go partner with, um, I mean, just anybody. Anybody with a, any complimentary business that has a customer base, an established business, go partner with them to market your product to their customers, and do pre-sales so that you get money in up front. Um, and there's plenty of folks that will do that with you. You might have to talk to five or ten to find one or two that are actually not only interested but willing to t take action immediately to make this happen with you. But once you do, those relationships are usually golden and you can partner with them over and over and over again. So essentially, you're just acting as almost like this intermediary where you're connecting the farmers who raised, raised the beef on the hoof with the end consumer through another in intermediary who's doing all of the marketing. Like... I mean, that's, that, that is a wonderful business model. I think that there are better business models, and it's not the business model that I have followed, but it, to the fastest way to make $40,000 in income from this business, that's it. So, all right, uh, thanks for the question, uh, Dean, and um, let me know if you have any others, and I will answer them for you. Thanks, guys. See ya.